In this video, we provide the solution to question number 15 for practice exam two for math 1030, in which case we have three friends here, Annabelle and Claire, um, and they have, to, they have to divide up four pieces of furniture they shared using the method of sealed bids. Uh, their bids are listed here on the table below. And so we have to decide uh, which of the four assets will be given to each of the three players and then how will their uh, how's the money managed by the end of this problem here. So let's first look at the bids. So for uh, a dresser, Anna bid $150, Bell bid $300, Chloe bid $275. So Bell had the highest bid and Bell will be the one who receives the dresser. Or maybe it's just a dress, I don't actually know. It said furniture. Um, next, a desk. Anna bid 180, Bell did 150, Chloe did 165. 180 is the highest bid, so Anna will be receiving the desk, like so. Uh, for vanity, Anna bid 170, Bell bid 200, Chloe bid 260. So we see that is the highest price, the highest bid there. So the vanity is going to go to Chloe. And then lastly, for a tapestry, Anna bid 400, Chloe bid 250, and Chloe bid, uh, so Belle did 250 and Chloe did 500. So the tapestry is going to go to Chloe as well. So we see which of the assets will go to which of the people. So we then have to consider how the money is going to go to the estate and everything. So we have to add together. How much did, does Anna think is a fair share? So if you take 150 plus 180 plus 170 plus uh, 400, that gives you a total of $900. For which, as there's three people there, if you divide that by three, that then says that Anna sees a fair share as $300. Okay, what about Belle? Well, Belle, she bid 300 for the dresser, 150 for the vanity, 200 for, excuse me, 200 for the vanity, 150 for the desk, and then 250 for the tapestry. That gives Bell also a total of $300. Sorry, $900, which if you divide that by three, that's where you get $300. And then finally, if you take Chloe there, uh, she bid 275 for the, the dresser, 165 for the desk, 260 for the vanity and then 500 for the tapestry. If you add that all up, that then gives a total of $1,200 for which if you divide by, by three, you end up with $400 being what Chloe sees as a fair share. Okay, so then we have to calculate what do they owe to the estate? Well, since Anna is gonna get the desk, she needs to pay $180 to the estate. Um, Belle, she bid and won the dresser, which would be $300. So she's going to pay $300 to the estate. Uh, Chloe bid and won the vanity and the tapestry. Uh, so 260 plus 500, that is a total of $760 that she should owe to the estate. So that's how much they have to pay those things. Now, Anna, she believes she's er, she owes she's owed three hundred dollars she needs to pay a hundred and eighty if you take the difference that gives you a hundred and twenty um with bell if we take the difference she's owed three hundred she pays three hundred so she the difference would be zero and for chloe's situation she is owed 400 but she owes 760 so that difference is going to give you negative 360 there Okay, if you add those together, 120 plus zero minus 360, that's gonna give us a surplus of $240 to the, uh, to, the, to the estate. So if we take all that and divide it by three, all right, so that gives $80 to everyone. So we're gonna add $80 to each and every one of these. So to Anna, she's owed 120, but there's a surplus of 80 bucks for her. So that adds up and gives her $200. Um, so what she then would get is she would get $200 from the estate and the desk. As for Belle, she, her difference was zero. We add to it 80. So she's going to get $80 from the estate and she gets the dresser. That gives her a fair share. Uh, now, finally, for Chloe here, she owes the estate $360. If we add $80 to that, then in the end, she pays to the estate $280. She will get the vanity and the tapestry. And notice, of course, 
Uh, so that so this is a negative there. So she pays to the estate two hundred and eighty dollars. That two hundred and eighty dollars will be broken up into two hundred and eighty for Anna and Bell. And so the sum of the last line should be zero. And that's how the four assets will be distributed amongst the three players and the money they will also get and everyone will get a fair share.